Hey y'all, so how's it going? Um, so I want to make this video because I ran into this issue with PyCharm and it was driving me crazy. So I was looking for a solution and I think I found one. It's uh, I just Googled this uh, the question and I found this person that said to delete a particular folder. Um, this little curly bracket here insinuates that it's an invisible file. So you might not see it if you actually go look for it. But if you do go to this URL, um, uh, probably won't paste the URL in the description to be honest. Maybe I will, but um, just Top, you know, look at what I have here, type it out, and then go to, uh, what is it, um, Finder, and then Go, and then go to Folder. If you just click Go to Folder, um, it'll ask you where do you want to go. You just type that in and click Enter, and it'll take you to the particular folder that it's saying that you should delete. Now, the form, it says to delete the entire JetBrains folder, this whole thing. However, when I did that, it deletes all of your settings in PyCharm. Everything that you were working on, all your presets, everything's gone. So what I did instead was go double click in there. Let me just um, move this out of the way. And I had these folders inside. And what I did is, is I put the name old on this one. So uh, and then I restarted uh, uh, PyCharm to see what would happen. And then the problem persisted. So I removed it. And I typed in old on this one, so renamed it so that it couldn't find the directory anymore, and then tried it again, and it still didn't work. And then I did it to this one. I just changed the name of this one, and it automatically created this folder. So, it, you know, it, it put some new stuff in there, but it took away the error. So now uh, my program's back up. It has all the things that I was working on. It remembers everything that I had going on. And the problem's gone. So whatever was going on was in this folder. I'm going to keep it around just because. But I wanted to just do this video because uh, I know I would have loved to see a video like this when I was going through this and I couldn't find one. So uh, at the end of the story, go to that this here and then just either delete your entire folder here, JetBrains, or I, what I would do is to rename the files until you find the problematic folder and then just delete that one or rather rename it so it's inactive. And PyCharm should make the correct new one and you should still have all your settings. All right, that's all. Thanks. And if you like, subscribe, you know what to do.